Now that we have the t-statistic for a 2 mean difference, let's see how we can have jump calculate this test for us. I'm going to use the two group blood pressure data set that I showed you before. Now this is in the journal that goes with the module today. To do the independent samples t-test, we'll use a new platform in jump. Under analyze, we'll use fit y by x. Fit y by x is a very general platform that'll give different types of output depending on the variables you use. In this case, we'll use as our group or factor the group variable. This is what identifies the different individuals, whether they took the placebo or whether they got the treatment. The y response here is the dependent variable, the thing we're measuring. In this case, it's blood pressure. When I click OK, we'll get a simple dot plot showing us the individuals who are in the placebo group and the individuals in the treatment group. Just looking at this plot right now, we can see that the treatment group is a little bit lower, but certainly there's a great deal of overlap between these groups. To perform the hypothesis test, we'll go to the red triangle and select first means ANOVA pool T. This will be the equal variance assumed or pool T test. This is the test where we assume that we have not changed the population standard deviation with our treatment. When I select this result, we'll get the actual output for the equal variance assumed test. Now we'll get a lot of output here, and by the end of this module, you'll understand what all of this is, but let's focus our attention on just the t-test section. Notice that we have some familiar statistics. We have the difference between the groups. This is our x bar 1 minus x bar 2. We have the standard error of the difference. This is our estimate of the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the mean differences. We have our t statistic here, the t ratio. We have degrees of freedom. Remember in this case, it's the sample size 1 minus 1 plus sample size 2 minus 1. So 99 plus 99 or 198. And we have our familiar two-tailed p-value. Remember, no matter the test, we can still interpret that p-value the same way. If our p-value is less than our standard of evidence, in this case we'll simply use alpha of 0.05, we're allowed to reject the null hypothesis. That is, we have a statistically significant effect of the drug here. We've noticed that the treatment is lower by an average of 3.560, so we can reject the null hypothesis that this treatment has no effect.